Hi there friends, Vanny here. I've got a review for us today of this fella. This is the Real Steel Horus. Um, I believe they took the cue in designing from the Egyptian deity Horus, uh, who was uh, the sun god or the sky god. Um, and uh, he was often depicted with the head of a falcon, which is also black and blue. Um, so I guess you've got uh, the, a mixture between a falcon um, and that um, that mask of Horus. Um, so Real Steel is uh, is another Chinese company, making their uh, voice quite thick in the knife world these days. Coming out with some beautiful knives, uh, stunning quality. Um, comes packaged in this nice box, piece of foam for protection. Um, and it's got uh, some paperwork and the knife came wrapped up in this um, microfiber cloth uh, with the Real Steel logo embossed inside. Um, now, Real Steel has got, um, has got five series, uh, the T, M, H, E and S. Uh, this one belongs to the E series and it's the EDC knives for everyday use. So that's our box. Uh, let's look at some size comparisons. Um, so you can see it's quite a large knife, but um, let's start off small. Let's go to the um, Spyderco Delica 4. We can see it's uh, totally dwarfed out uh, by the Horus. Um, let's look at um, the Bet, Bet Liger, or the Companion from uh, Kaiser. Um, still dwarfs it, um, and... Uh, the bed lighter is 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 a very very much an EDCable knife. Fits into your pocket very nicely. Um, let's look at uh, another big knife. I think we're gonna we're gonna almost get there as far as the comparison is concerned uh, with the paramilitary two. Uh, the Horus blade is uh, is substantially larger actually, um, but very similar handle length. Um, and then uh, let's lastly look at this guy. This is the uh, Kaiser Uprising, a large knife, and uh, we can see again, it's uh, the blade is quite quite a bit longer, very similar handle length. So this is definitely uh, a large knife, um, and uh, there are, there are some design elements that make it uh, um, even larger. Um, but yeah, let's start off with some specifications. We've got an overall length of 8.5 inches. A blade length of 3.625 inches. That's very long. Um, we got a blade thickness of 0 0.14 inches. I just wanted to just measure it as well in millimeters. Um, so we've got... It's sitting on... That's 4 millimeters. That's, that's, that's quite thick for a blade. Um, and uh, we've got quite a high flat grind. Uh, we can see here at uh, the plunge line, it's quite a deep grind. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's got a slightly sloping um, cutting surface. We've got a drop point um, happening. Um, and uh, it's fairly thin behind the edge uh, with that nice deep uh, flat grind that they put in here. Um, if you look at the spine, we've got a little bit of a thumb rise. Um, and then a very interesting feature that they built in that you don't see that often. Um, this is a liner lock. Lock. If that makes any sense. So basically, and I, what, what I found is if you go in and you want to choke up on the knife, you kind of press it in uh, automatically. But just what it does is it locks the liner lock. Um, so that's just an added safety feature. And um, very discreet. Um, but yeah, it definitely adds... Um, a, a bit of a design complexity if you will uh, to the knife um, no jimping at the base of the spine or on the liners uh, but you do get a little bit of jimping over here on this on this lock um, it's uh, fully lined with two liners um, it, it hasn't been recessed in any way um, they have been uh, skeletonized uh, to remove a bit of weight um, or for the already quite weighty uh, what did we say? Uh, the total weight is 5.12 ounces. 
that's a heavy blade um, and yes it's got quite thick G10 uh, scales as well um, and what they did is uh, as you can see it's layered with the blue and black um, and they've step cut it for some very interesting design uh, uh, designing going on on, on the on the scales um, slightly chamfered on the edges I think they could have chamfered it slightly more but um, yeah so the the full liners and the quite quite thick uh, G10 um, scales makes it for, for, for quite a thick knife but very comfortable in the hand um, yes and uh, we've obviously got a liner lock um, the lockup is sitting on about 50% um, very very strong lock up this thing isn't going to accidentally close on you um, and one thing that I did notice as well and this is just small things but um, something that really pleases me if we look at the at the edge ends of the of the plunge lines how neatly they've they've done that um, it meets up perfectly to 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 the blade um, so I really like that um, also I forgot to mention there is a, a sharpening choil as well um, and it's obviously a, um, a thumb stubbed deployment. Um, I like the positioning of it. It's nice out the way of your cutting surface. Um, it's tucked in very nicely. Um, and uh, I haven't done any adjustments to this knife. This is exactly how I got it out the box. Um, and uh, the detent is neither strong nor soft. I think they've done really well um, uh, with, a, with a detent strength. Um, it, it builds up just enough friction to pop out of there very nicely um, to give you a nice nice solid action um, speaking of action um, very very smooth um, like I said I've done no adjustments to this um, to this particular knife yet and uh, it, it drops very very nice and softly into the detent uh, just with a little bit of help um, and uh, yeah we can see also here at the back there's a, um, a blade stopper um, open backed one quite large uh, standoff um, it's beautiful it's in a beautiful blue the same color blue as the uh, as the as the thumb studs um, and very interesting with this knife now I don't think it adds anything to the knife as far as uh, um, use is concerned but um, the pivot screw um, and this this body back screw over here uh, is hollow so uh, you can see you can see right through them um, so I guess you know they they saw a gap there to to do something different and they took that gap um, so yeah so that just um, is a bit of a of a conversation starter I guess but um, it doesn't really add any any function to the knife um, we've got some some space over here for the um, for the pocket clip so that you can attach it to the front for left hand carry um, at the moment it's um, a right hand tip up carry and we can see a very deep carry pocket clip um, so this fellow is going to ride all the way into your pocket for very discreet carry um, and uh, yeah I think that pretty much covers everything um, oh I've never mentioned the blade steel the blade steel is C 1428N um, which is a fairly mid-range budget steel um, very similar uh, to the VG10 that, um, that that quite a couple of uh, knife makers are using as well uh, for their kind of uh, entry-level budget budget friendly uh, um, steel so yeah friends I guess that's uh, that's that's a quick overlook and uh, I'll keep it just under my 10 minutes that I normally do. Um, and yeah, we never talked about price either. The price of this guy uh, on Blade, uh, Blade HQ is $59.60. Uh, the MSRP was $74.50. Um, so that is uh, it's a great price uh, for something that's really well rounded off and beautifully made. Um, I don't think you, you can go wrong here. Uh, it's strong and sturdy and uh, commands presence and uh, it's overall beautiful knife. Uh, thanks for joining me and um, I'm hoping that uh, you'll press like and press subscribe for more of my videos. Thanks so much friends. Cheers.